Wow! Hello everyone and welcome back to my Patreon or YouTube channel depending on where you're watching this video. Today I'll be watching episode 25. We are in the middle of the King's Tomb dungeon and it looks like all of the participants are facing different replicas, sometimes replicas of themselves or their friends or sometimes replicas of much more powerful beings. And the fact that since the most powerful mage in the dungeon has also entered the dungeon doesn't help at all and doesn't really make it very fair. After all, how could someone who hasn't reached a first stage could defeat Sense? And the whole group is not very lucky because Freerin is in the dungeon and as we know she's extremely powerful. Looking for the other members gathering outside the chamber where the Freerin's clone is. Lucky for them Freerin has arrived and she's willing to help. Looks like Fern has decided to join the battle so they are gonna come up with a plan. Knowing Freerin the plan is gonna work out but I do have a certain worry that Fern might not be able to handle Freerin's clone for so long as she thinks. I think she's slightly tiny little bit underestimating Freerin because I don't think she has ever seen or witnessed a full ex a full potential of Freerin's power and skills. I don't think she actually witnessed that at all. A teenager a human girl against a powerful a thousand year old elf. That's not much. She could only buy some time perhaps since she knows some of Freerin's strategies. But anyways enough of me blabbering let's get on with this episode and see what's going to happen. And as always don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thanks! I love that she's smiling. So if she doesn't know, that means she never faced this type of monster. I mean, that'd be nice. I mean, like Freen is a little bit hopeful and a tiny little bit proud, perhaps. But where could it lead us? Interesting, interesting indeed. A fatal vulnerability. Oh. So, so terrible. <sighs> Gosh. It was nice of them to try to reach so far. <laughs> but nobody listened. Almost. That's good. I really like her voice as well. I recognize that uh, voice actress. Okay. That's good. They could go inside and test it. あの複製体とその術者の正体が仮にあの複製体がフリーレンと同じ実力なら死傷者がでかねない。そいつに弱点はないぜ。複製体を操っているのはシュピーゲルっていう神話の時代のままのだ。あ、シアスノーレジバル
民間魔法の中でもトップクラスのものだあの扉は術者が死ぬまで開くことはない。それまで、キュー3ルファーストなら急いだ方がいいぜ。シュピーゲルはダンジョンの中にいるやつ全員の複製体を作り出す。その複製体は時間とともに最新部に集まってくるっていう。Oh, wow. so、glad they have this intel. 前回の先見隊は兄貴の部隊を除いてほとんどが壊滅した。Died. Oh gosh. 最新部目前のちょうどこの場所でだ。Her brother must be super powerful. He most likely fought his own replica, right? So it's possible to defeat one. Wow, that's interesting. So she must know vulnerabilities of free run. And she is a faster spellcaster. その弱点って何なのフリーレン様あっちの壁際に立ってもらってもいいですか<笑> ?You're seriously gonna test it now on her?Super fast まさかなんということだ気がつきましたかこれはフリーレンの致命的なスキルだ。魔法を使う瞬間にほんの一瞬だけ魔力探知が途切れているああそれって見習い魔法使いがよくするミスじゃ昔から苦手なんだよねあ自覚があるのならなんで言ってくれなかったんですかだってとにかく作戦会議をしますよ<笑> I'd be hungry if I was them they've been there for a long long time and they saw obviously fighting Oh, it's a memory. So, I then got the cure. He's got a second car. Free them, Engo Shagita. Hito, Kyo of Skyde, Damina. Oh, his face is blue. <laughs> oh, gosh, just how much of alcohol has he consumed? Haida <laughs> looks so dead. But Himel, as handsome as ever. So, is it just them going inside? And these two defending from anyone else? She has the most experience after all. Good point. Gosh, it's so lethal. Oh gosh, this is not going to be easy at all. Good luck, both. I love this music in the background. Mm-hmm. I see, so they are using that weakness. Wow. Great plan. Good. 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 
エルフにとっては比較的新しい魔法だから、神経で無意識に防御できるほどの年月は経っていない。And she has a perfect. 思考する場合は遅れることになる。エルフにとってゾルトラークは生まれた時からあった当たり前のもの。It's an ordinary magic, right? 刻まれた魔法使いの基礎だ。フェルンのゾルトラークなら私を殺せる。Wow, that's a huge risk. She literally has to put all of her mana in that one moment. Ah, what happened? Freedom. Omae wa watashi no koto ga kirai daro. Naze watashi no moto ni kita. Hmm. Exactly, and why are we seeing this memory now? Sensei no yui gonjo o todoke ni kita. Oh. Does it have any emotions? What's written? What's written? The Supreme Court of the Nations has awarded the Supreme Court of the Nations. People always fear what they don't understand. What they don't understand. Oh. Bring the knowledge to human. The Great Northern Kingdom of Mahou is starting its exploration. The Northern Kingdom is not yet ready.人類の誰もが魔法を使える時代がやってくるんだ。人類が魔王軍に抗う力を手に入れることを意味する。そう、すごいことだね。とても。まったくだ。だが、それは私の望むところではない。帰れ、フリーレン。Why do you want to keep human in the Dark Ages? Harsh. So she knew. Oh. Right, right. It's like the idea of perfect world. Hmm. I remember that. Gosh, this elf is so bitter. I'm interested to learn this elf's backstory. I'm interested to learn this elf's backstory. I'm interested to learn this elf's backstory. And yet. She's a legend now. Comparing to them, she only had human's lifespan. Yeah. Which is not that good thing that many people think. Just as it was in our case. In numbers, definitely. <laughs> お前を殺す者がいるとすれば、それは魔王か。
Using the modern magic, I assume. Freeran was much more pure and positive, unlike the other one. Bored with life and bitter. Come on in, let's do it! <laughs> Nice! Has it worked though? Oh, I can't believe this is the end of the episode. They, they do that, don't they? Like every anime does it, I swear. But this is such a crucial moment because Fern is literally using all of her magic and focusing it all, and she focuses it all in one spell to, re -re to release at Freerin's clone, so if that doesn't work, there's no way they're going to leave this dungeon alive. Unless Freerin somehow finds a way to defeat her clone, because... But how would she do that, you know? Besides, just how much how much of a magic power does the clone have? Because the clone's magical capacity depends on its caster, depends on its creator. So if the creator of this clone doesn't have enough magic and their mana reservoir is smaller than Freerun's, and we know Freerun's is massive, then this is the only way I think Freerun could win against herself. Unless she um, comes up with a new spell herself, which I don't know how easy or difficult that might be. And how could she do it so quickly, you know? But that's something that she could think of and do it. And perhaps that would give her a delayed response from the clone. Because clone has to read her, but does it read her like all the time at the very same time? What is the delay response? Seconds, milliseconds? We don't know. I'm probably overthinking. So <laughs> anyways, great episode. I can't wait to watch the next one. So we'll see you there. Thank you to anyone supporting my channel, particularly my Patreons and Isaac. For those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon where you can find uncut, full-length and 100% opacity videos early release. On top of that, I react to Patreon-exclusive anime titles. And as my Daimyo Patreon, you can even get a shout-out in the video. Alternatively, you can join this channel as my YouTube channel member, gain access to other exclusive perks, and all of this you can find in links below. Your support means the world to me, and all of the donations go towards the equipment subscription and building my YouTube studio, which is something I'm planning for the future. It's been a joy to watch this anime with you, so I do hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!